Washington state is bracing for record voter turnout, and the governor race is heating up. This race gained national attention for its legal twists, turns, and extremely close finish back in 2004. KXOY4's Chairson Ramsing, she is live at the Spokane County Elections Office. All right, how are they preparing for this massive turnout? Well, we just got the new numbers in regarding the election statistics, and so far, countywide, 63.63% of registered voters have already cast their ballot. And so here at the Spokane County Elections Office, it has been borderlining on a zoo-like mentality over the past couple of days, trying to get all of those ballots counted, and really an exciting time. I'm joined here with Auditor Vicki Dalton. Okay, so some of your employees have started to show up. Explain to me what they're going to be doing in this space later this morning. Well, in this space right here is where we open all of those envelopes that, ballot, that voters have so carefully put their ballot in. So we pull the yellow envelope out of that white envelope to maintain your secrecy. And then out of that yellow envelope, we take the ballot out and we inspect the ballot to make sure that it can actually go through the tabulation machine. So no coffee, no chocolate, nothing else on there. And we have to make sure that those marks are dark enough so that they'll go through the machine. So we spend a, a bit of time inspecting every single ballot. Okay, so in here then, you can see a lot of those yellow envelopes in recycling. Explain what's in this room back in here, the, va the voted ballot room to the left where it says authorized personnel. We can see two women in there. Well, in the voted ballot room are the voted ballots. And after we've inspected the ballots to make sure that the machines can count them, we put them in trays by precinct number, and every one of those trays has a summary sheet that tells us how many ballots, and then they go count. Wonderful. Thank you so much. So, Mike and Kali, on our website at kxly.com, we have a link to where you can drop off your ballot. Remember, there are no polls this year. You must drop off your ballot either in the mail or into one of those drop-off locations. So, Mike and Kali, really an exciting day here. Back to you. Really interesting stuff. And boy, does she have a big responsibility. Thanks, Very Justin. big responsibility, yes. Really interesting. Thanks so much for that report.